Matthew 5, 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Welcome again to our series, Be Attitudes. And today we're talking about being the attitude of merciful. Merciful. What does mercy mean? Mercy is when you have compassion on somebody. When you put yourself in their shoes, as, or in their place as much as you possibly can, and even if you can't imagine what they're going through, you have compassion for them. Even when they're being contrary, even when they're being against you or against the Lord, you have compassion on them and you give them mercy. When God gives us mercy, he is not giving us the penalty that is due to us for our sins. Jesus on the cross was the ultimate merciful act of God to his creation. He mercifully forgave us. Now see, that's another part of mercy. Mercy forgives. Mercy is concerned. Mercy cares. Mercy wants to have relief for the other person. Relief. Jesus gave us the relief of the wrath of God. Jesus gave us the relief from hell and damnation for all eternity. He gave us the way, the truth, and the life. He gave us himself. That's another form of mercy. Mercy is an act. It's not just feeling compassion upon somebody. It is giving and showing compassion to somebody through word and deed. You can have merciful words and you can have merciful actions that relieve pain and suffering and uh, judgment to your fellow human beings. The world needs mercy. When somebody's aggravating you, mercy. When you see somebody in need, mercy. When you see somebody that is justifi justifiably, in God's eyes, wicked, mercy. Pray for your enemies, Jesus said. Pray for those who even persecute you. Many times we, we take on this stance of, I know who I am in Christ and you can't tell me. That's not merciful. That's not merciful. Jesus never did that. He didn't say, you don't know who my father is. I, 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 I get all upset. No. He explained to them, my, my, my kingdom is not of this world. And if I had to, there's things I could do, but I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I love you. It is my destiny, Jesus said. And nobody is going to take my destiny. Now, he did say that. Our destiny is to be merciful. Our destiny is to share the compassion of God. And no man can get in the way of that. The only one that can get in the way of us showing and giving mercy to others, that's right, is ourselves. We're the ones that can get in our own way. God is rich and mercy, merciful. He's rich in mercy. Here's the thing. This beatitude tells us that if we are not merciful, we won't obtain mercy. It says if you are merciful you will obtain mercy. So the opposite, of course, is if we do not give mercy, show mercy, then mercy will not be shown on us. And you can think about that, right? Why should God be merciful to you and me if we're not merciful to others? Obviously, we're not abiding in Him. Obviously, we're not considering Him as the branch. and uh, you know, we're, we're the branches and He's the vine. Obviously, there's an issue, okay? And God is saying, look, you not showing mercy, that's going to get in between me showing you mercy in your life. So, but at the same time, folks, we don't want to show mercy just so that we get it, right? But it's a principle. We know that if we do show mercy, that we will obtain mercy from God and hopefully from others as well. But that's not why we do it. We do it because it's right. We do it because it's godly. We do it because God commands us to be merciful. Till next time, may the Lord richly bless you. Till the next beatitude.